My first instinct is to remove non-profitable ads from my videos. Any ad that generates less than 1% of my revenue is not worth turning on. In this video, we'll look at the various types of YouTube ads and see which ones are the most profitable for creators. Now, this video may be of interest to you if you are a creator looking for a good balance between allowing your viewers enjoy your videos without too many ad interruptions while also earning well from YouTube AdSense. Now, a few weeks ago, this was me. Let's take a look at what I discovered during my research and the decision that I made. Hello and welcome. My name is Tokwe Aomashi and on this channel, I provide information and insights that will help you scale your business using YouTube. Now, if you're new here and you want more content like this, be sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications. Okay, let's get into today's topic. Now, I'll start by showing you the different types of ads that may appear next to your YouTube videos. Now, display ads are one type. These appear above the suggested videos to the right of the featured video. Another type is overlay ads, which appear on the lower 20% of your video. Then there are bumper ads. These are non-skippable ads that must be watched before your video can be viewed. And they last no more than six seconds. Now, other types of ads include skippable and non-skippable video ads and sponsored cards, which display content that may be relevant to your video. They can also be placed during longer videos as mid-roll ads. Now, in as much as it's a great idea to maximize your ad revenue on YouTube, it's a better idea to be in control of how ads show on your videos so you don't jeopardize your viewers' experience and the bigger goal that you want to achieve, which is to build an audience that loves your content and will keep coming back. That said, I took a snapshot from the analytics of two of my clients who have all the ad types turned on and we'll be analyzing together which ads made them the most money and which ads made them the least money and are probably not worth turning on. On this snapshot, you can see that this client has so far made a little over $200 and 80% of that came from skippable ads. Now, the distant second and third most lucrative for this client are display and bumper ads. Now, the least earner for this client, as you can see, are non-skippable ads at less than 1%. Now, this is a snapshot from another client's channel. This client has a much bigger channel and has made almost $9,000 from ads. If you check the numbers, you will see that skippable ads are topping the chart again at 83.9%, while following again at a distant second and third are the display ads and bumper ads. Now, the least earner for this client is the non-skippable ads at less than 1%. Now, as a creator, who wants to keep distractions to a minimum so that my viewers can enjoy my videos, my first instinct is to remove non-profitable ads from my videos. Any ad that generates less than 1% of my revenue is not worth turning on. The culprit in this case is the non-skippable ads. Now, I'm actually surprised that non-skippable ads, which viewers find the most irritating, are the least profitable for creators. The question now is why are advertisers not paying a high price for these ads? Or perhaps we should ask, why isn't YouTube charging advertisers more for ads we are all forced to watch? Sadly, I don't have the answers. Now, what are your thoughts on non-skippable ads? As a viewer, do you find them annoying? And as a creator, would you turn them off? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to engage with you. Now, to learn more about monetizing on YouTube, feel free to check out the playlist up here. It will also be linked in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And until then, keep showing up and keep crushing it. Bye.